Hi guys, Durka Gaming here, and welcome back to another video. I've had a number of people asking me in my stream lately, uh, Durka, can you please show us how to start up the the Q400? Um, absolutely, and this is why I'm going to do the video for you today. Um, if you recall, I did a video on the FMC, how to start up the FMC, or how to get your route in the FMC, how to add fuel, etc. So hopefully you can uh, learn something from this and you guys can get started up and get to fly this incredible plane um, as I keep saying on my stream as well this is uh, this is my favorite plane in FSX absolutely love it I don't fly it enough uh, and when I do um, I, I just fall in love with it every time um, so yeah I'm going to show you how to do the startup um, and I'm going to show you how I do it guys. It might not be a hundred percent correct There might be one or two things. I'm still doing wrong, but you know what? This is how I've been doing it from day one From what I learned when I was reading the manual and watching videos, etc. I Get to start the plane hundred percent all the time so Yes, if there are if a couple of things I'm not doing please leave them in the comments and I'll learn from them as well but as I said this is how I do it um, and it works perfectly every time um, we're currently at Southampton Orbex, uh, I've got Orbex Southampton loaded um, I was flying here earlier hence why I thought I would just do the video yeah I'm not going to do a fly all it is it's just going to do a startup and a pushback and then we'll start um, the second engine and uh, and then I'll pretty much end it there so uh, okay so I will see you guys back in a sec okay welcome back good to have you alrighty so let's get started actually I just want to say something so when I start my Q400 I don't have a fully cold and dark startup I think the only difference with a cold and, and, and cold, a full cold and dark is that all these switches besides the main bus tie and actually the external power are all up. That's the only difference. So if you do want a full cold and dark, all you need to do is just flick these switches up and then you've got a full cold and dark. Alrighty. Okay, so as I said, this is how I do my checks or how I do my startup. This is my flow. I've got my um, airline to some checklist in front of me. So um, let's get going then. All right, so first thing I do is main bus tie. Let's click down, external power is down. On the AC control, I click the internal, external power there as well. Uh, ignition uh, engine start ignition is to, are set to normal um, and I leave the the select the the select switch in the middle okay fasten seat belt um, and the no smoking sign sorry I was just yeah okay that's pretty much it all right so that's what I do and then what I do next is I then start on my FMC. So I click accept. Then I do it on the co-pilot. I click accept there. All right. We can click these warning lights off. All right. And then once that's done, then I start. Um, I start doing all the stuff on the FMC. So the first thing I do is I click data. Or I'll just show you again what I did there so you click data you go to services okay and you can request the ground the ground services GPU request so we get ground power all right and then you should see if we pop our side plane there we go so now we've got ground power now okay you can hear it starting up there you can start the plane by APU but I always just start the plane with ground power. Okay, so now that we've got ground power, what I do then is this is where I start setting up everything in the FMC and click on the link. 
and you can go see my FMC setup video for the Q400. All right. Okay, so just say we've done everything now. We've, we've added our fuel. We've added our flight plan. We've done our, um, um, our speed bugs. We've done everything. Okay. What we do now is... That should be up. Okay. So what we're going to do now is... Um, we're actually going to start up the the plane now. So I'm going to read what I'm like to say what I'm doing on my checklist. So doors and fueling lights are out. Passenger signs, those were on. Cabin report we've received. The flight deck door is locked. Anti-collision light goes to red, so that's up. Uh, APU bleed is off, and the battery master is on, which we did that earlier. Okay. All right, so that's all checked now. The next thing I do is, I, as I said, guys, I'm going to do it how I start up. So what I do is I call out GSX because, remember, GSX um, won't start up if you've got an engine running already. Okay. All right, so prepare for pushback and departure. Uh, I'm just going to go, let's just go to the left. All right. Okay, and then what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to moan a bit because we've still got the GPU, but that's fine. So what I do next is I. All right. What I do next is I on the engine start I click the select button to engine two, and I click the start. All right. And then if you look at the engine display, you can see uh, engine one is starting to build up. It gets to around 19.8. And then what I do is I go to the condition lever and I put engine two to start and feather. Okay, and you should see we've now got... Um, engine start on the right as I said just excuse that beeping it's just because the GPU is still all right so now we've got a good engine start on the right engine so what I do now is I go back to data I click services and I cancel the GPU request okay And you can see that's flicked back now, back to the center of both uh, engine one and two. All right, we'll let GSX do their thing. And I have been told uh, by a number of people that this is actually how Fly B plus a number of other airlines when they fly in the Q400 start up this plane is that they do do one engine at the gate then they get their pushback and then they start the second one so this is I'm, I'm told that this is how it's done in, uh, in, in real life aviation so alright so we release the parking brake oh we've got some uh, you can see the GSX guy there got a bit of an issue there, but anyway. All right, guys, hopefully that's quite easy so far. As always with my videos, if you're not understanding something, just rewind it, watch again. If you still don't understand, please put something in the comments, and I'll try to explain it better. Um, but hopefully you've got that so far. Okay, so... So while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to um, say it again. Definitely get yourself uh, the Q400 checklist, either from airline to sim or print it off from the Majestic website. And the two links are below. So just click on those and it will take you uh, straight to those, uh, those checklists, those flow charts. 
All right, GSX is actually uh, performing okay today. So sometimes we get a drunk GSX driver. So. We should nearly be there. All right, there you go. I do love this plane so much. And I can't wait for the Pro Edition, the shared cockpit. That is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so we've done our push back now so what we can do now is we can start on engine number one so we go back up to the overhead so we select engine one click the start button all right so you can see we've got uh, our engine starts in there, so we put the condition levers up to feather, start and feather. Everything's looking good there. Right, GSX just finishing up. That's the wave. Okay, so. Good, good. Okay, so. Now that we've got two good startups on both engines, we now do the after start check. So, external APU is off. Main bus tie is off. We stick the condition levers to max. So you can see there, condition levers have gone to max. Uh, the auto feather, let me just go a little bit closer here. So the auto feather goes to on. Fuel pumps go to on. We want the standby hydraulic and the PTU control to on. Uh, rudder. is full control and the ailerons is neutral as well good good so that's a check the no steering is on so we've got no steering is on there to the left uh, bleeds we want to minimum those will go back to normal after we've taken off okay uh, the ice pressure check all right just click to the test there and you can see the light comes on so that's a check uh, TCAS all right let me actually sorry let me just put my radio we should have had my radios on here so let's just let those okay so TCAS all you got to do you can sit down just open that there you can see the radio stack there all you got to do is just hold it down and it says on alt and that means TCAS is on okay and that's pretty much the starter that is the startup for the Q400 all right I'm not going to end it just there so what we're going to do now is just say we've given clearance we now taxing to the runway um, so there's a couple of checks during the taxi so the first one and what I'll do is I'll just start it a little bit so the first one is uh, the brake check right, so let's just get moving yeah so what do you have to do just click the brake there we go brake check is clicked and as I said I'm not going to carry on I'm just going to stop there okay so brake check is is clicked Flight instruments 
is, is checked. So what we can do, oh, we can just check the fly. Okay, we can do the rudder, etc. Okay. Uh, your damper goes on. Clearances have received and cabin is clear. Alrighty, so that's during the taxi. Alright, so we, we taxi, we taxi. Now we get to the holding point for our runway. Okay, so we've got a couple of before takeoff. Alright, so we go back up to our overhead. Anti collision goes back down to white. The landing light, obviously, we would have had our taxi light on. So just say a taxi light is on, we turn taxi light off. Landing lights go on. The pitot static and isolation valves go on. All right, so those three there. Uh, the boot air goes as well, the isolation valve. Bleeds as required. I normally put my bleeds on over there as well. Okay, you can put your recirculating fan on as well. All right. The go around, the go around switch is just this little button there. You see there, take off, go around. So you click that, and then you should have a little GA sign on the PFD. Okay, so GA is selected. Your heading should just say we've taken off from runway 05. All right, so heading is checked. Okay, altitude, just say we need to stay at 9,000, 10,000. And remember to click altitude select. I often forget this one. If you don't click altitude select, you're going to go, even though you've typed in 10,000, you don't click altitude select, you will then go above or below that altitude. So make sure you click alt select. All right, and then the last one is caution panel and warning lights. Okay, all right, I know why. Your anti-skid as well. Sorry, I forgot about that one. Anti-skid as well. All right, so anti-skid should go to on, and there we go. So caution panel and warning lights, the only one we've got is our parking brake. And there you go. That is pretty much your starter. And then the last thing you need to do just before you click that to flight. Click the spoilers to flight from taxi to flight. And that's it guys. It is nothing too difficult about that. It is a fairly straight startup. And as I said, that's how I do my startup. And it works pretty much first time all the time. Um, if you guys want to do an APU startup so you don't call out the um, the ground power what you do is you just click power yeah I don't know if this will actually start now yeah it failed because our engines are ready yeah so all you need to do with the APU okay is just click power all right then you click start and then I think it takes maybe half a minute and then you should get a green light saying okay or something and then once you get that you click the generator on and the bleed air and then once you get I think it's like four green lights then you can start the same procedure what I did oh there we go so I think if you click start now yeah as I said it might not be working 100% because yeah we've already got our engine starting so and then what you do is once once you've got all the once you've got all the green lights then you just start the normal procedure like I did you click that to um, again it's not doing it you just click that to one or two you click start and uh, and obviously your ignitions need to be normal as well and then you just start the normal procedure all right guys that's it as I said it's nothing too difficult practice it keep practicing if you're not understanding something rewind the video go through it again if you still don't understand leave a comment and I'll try and help you answer the best of my ability alrighty cool cool alrighty guys as always 
thank you very much for watching oh yes you know what I am going to do I just had a thought I'm going to do um, a full Q400 flight yeah I'll do that in the next day or two and I'll record it and I'll upload it to uh, my channel so we'll we'll start somewhere I'll do the full startup taxing takeoff what to do after takeoff in the cruise and then I'll do all the um, you know the the checklist when we in our descent when we landing etc etc I'll do a full um, a full Q100 flight and I can show you guys yeah alrighty well hopefully you found that enjoyable hopefully you found that helpful um, and yeah till next time you take care and I'll see you soon and thanks for watching as always cheers cheers bye bye